Hello, I uh, hope you're having a great day today. Um, we are following a, a series through the, the letter that James wrote to the uh, scattered tribes of Israel. And uh, at the moment we're in James chapter 1, and today we're going to have a look at verses 5 through to verse 8, where James writes this. He says, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt. Because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Such a person is double-minded and unstable in all they do. You know, when, when we talk about wisdom, we often think of it as the business of gathering information and knowledge, and processing that knowledge so that it can be used to give us a positive outcome in something. It's like doing lots of research. For James, writing as a Christian teacher with a deeply Jewish background, um, it's about having a deep knowledge of God so that we might live a righteous and godly life. It's kind of the heavenly version of what we might consider earthly wisdom to be about. In Isaiah 55, uh, verse 8, God says through Isaiah, My ways are not like your ways. In fact, he goes on to say, My ways are higher than your ways. It's a statement that says that we need to get our heads off the kind of earthly sense of what's wise and bury our heads deeply in the heavens where God's wisdom is because that is so much better, so much higher than ours. If we only invest in earthly wisdom, as James puts it, we can only expect to be blown around like the waves are in the sea, constantly reacting to the next thing and the next thing rather than following a path which is set straight for us by God. And I don't think that James is suggesting that life is easier that way, be, um, bearing in mind the teaching that we had yesterday uh, about trials and temptations. But if we're following God's lead, we will ultimately see more fruit, uh, experience more of his love and grace, if we're trusting in his wisdom rather than the wisdom that we gain on earth. Faith cannot bear fruit unless our faith is exercised. In other words, God can't bless us supernaturally if we insist on doing everything for ourselves. But when we step out in faith, trusting that the prompting of the Holy Spirit is good, we will see many amazing things happen. The question we should be constantly asking ourselves is, what would Jesus be doing in this particular situation or these circumstances? If we live by that, then God can really move in us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, help us to trust in you in all things. Help us, Lord, to lean on your wisdom each day. Help us to be people who live supernatural lives because we've invested time in seeking your wisdom and have placed ourselves in your eternal hands. So we ask, Lord, that you come and fill us today with ever more of your Holy Spirit and your grace. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.